Well, hey everyone, welcome back. This is uh, Sierra Kilo Prospecting. As always, I'm your terrible amateur prospector, Sean. Uh, if you're new to our channel, thanks for tuning in. And if you're, uh, if you're back, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. I know my videos aren't the most entertaining or the best, but if you're watching, I really appreciate you being here. So, we're going to talk today about uh, our dry washer ripple box. I posted a short up a little while ago, but I kind of want to get in and get a little more detail. Whoops, the dog's attacking me. I want to get a little more detail on what I actually did because if people are wanting to do this at home, like I'm not trying to make any money off this or hoard the knowledge, I want to show you what I did. And then also too, on the other side of that, if people have feedback, either previous experiences or questions or, hey, this isn't going to work, I'm always open to hear what people have to say. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll go check out the uh, dry washer riffle tray. So let's check it out. All right, we'll do this in taller, like a taller angle. Uh, with me, of course, as always, is Chuck, my quality assurance pug. He's not too impressed with my work, as is tradition. That's okay, though. He's just a dog, right? Uh, he also can't run power tools, so until he can outcraft me, his opinion doesn't count. Sorry, little buddy. Just the way it is. He doesn't seem to care anyways. He's a little busy. All right, <clears throat> so this is the underside of our riffle tray. So, got a little 2 by 4 our back piece and then we just use a pretty simple one by four for the sides uh, made a second tray that can come out so you can see i've got whoops as i'm messing up my frame i've got bolts on the sides as well as on both sides of the riffle tray so that way when it's time to replace the cloth or do anything like that i can just unbolt that we can take the cloth out change it out uh, i also did the traditional muslin cloth on this I should have cut it a little bit longer on the right side. Wish I would have done that. But it's on there. It's secured with staples. And then it's clamped in on the sides. We'll see how that muslin cloth, or excuse me, muslin cloth does. I don't think it's going to last very long. I've been reading some online forums. Some of the guys have been talking about, uh, like, silk screen trays. Or, <clears throat> not trays, but, like, nets. Or nets. I can't speak English today. But then again, for a guy that's spoken all his life, I've never really done all that well with it. Anywho, back to what we're talking about. We'll talk about the muslin more here in, some, in a minute. So the riffles are actually going to be back up. So these little cross pieces here, those are to create dead airspace with the riffles. And then you can see where we've mounted our riffles. Um, not the most uh, uniform. I actually got, I wish I had a drill press. That would have been awesome. As time went on though, my, uh, <clears throat> my drilling, I started to kick things out to the sides didn't keep it online, but also it's the other side of the box, so no one's going to see it. So that's the back side. Let's uh, take a little peek on the front side here, or the top side. All right, so this is our riffle tray. So I got these aluminum riffles set in. I thought I had those sitting a little bit straighter when I put them in, but that's going to be okay. It's still going to catch our, uh, our heavies in there. Like I said, I got those mounted on top of the muslin. Got that on good and tight. A friend came over and helped me install that. I uh, really wish I would have had a drill press when I was making these uh, riffles. Like, actually drilling the bolts and doing all that. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm actually not too sad about it, though. <clears throat> it's not like it's uh, super cattywampus. Just hoping to get a little bit straighter. Also, those cross pieces, I realized I cut a couple of those just a little bit short, so I've got a slight kind of bow in the side. It's maybe like an eighth of an inch. Still noticeable. Actually, it's very noticeable. So maybe later on when I'm modifying this thing, changing out the riffles and the cloth, I might actually look at uh, possibly building this out of aluminum, like the, uh, the frame for the riffle tray, the interior frame. That might actually be a little bit more resilient. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm starting to wander a little bit. So yeah, three bolts in each of these nuts are on the back side. Our material is going to come in this way. I'm going to have a ramp coming down from the hopper and then everything's going to blow through it. We're about three inches between riffles. I gave that a little bit more space as I got down here to the bottom just because that's just what I wanted to do with it. So that's the top side of it. So this is the uh, the the back side, if you will, the spot where the the side where the uh, constraints are going to come in. So to keep that interior frame secured, I've got two seven sixteenths bolts that I'm using. You saw the nuts in the earlier uh, view of the back side, and then on the sides, same thing. 
seven sixteenths bolts that secure that uh, riffle or the yeah the riffle frame to the outside outer frame. So that'll be pretty easy to take apart when it's time to modify and do things. Uh, one thing I am going to do, so I just ordered some toggle clamps from Home Depot. Those are on the way. So that's how we'll secure this to our bellows box. We'll make a video of that when we actually get that done. Pretty excited about those. So they're threaded so I can actually adjust the lengths. It'll keep this nice and tight. And then, um, yeah, I won't have to worry about um, mounting our, our, our latches. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm getting a little sidetracked. Anyways, this is it. Uh, warts and all, but there she is. And I'm gonna install the seals next and we'll show you how that goes. Yeah, so there we are. That's our riffle tray. Uh, I thought it was pretty straightforward. I went with that design because I thought it made the most sense. I can pull those riffles off, replace the cloth really easy. Also, too, when it comes time to clean up, if I want to, I can take that tray apart, dump it into a bucket. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Always interested in hearing people's feedback on it. Uh, if people have other experience building boxes, go ahead and hit me up. I'd love to talk to you, find out what, you, uh, what you've learned. If you are building this from home, please reach out. Like I said, I'm not trying to hoard knowledge in any way. So if you got any questions, anything you want to know, I'd be more than happy to help you guys. I've also got an Instagram page. It's uh, it's in the channel info. If you guys want to reach out to me there, that's fine. I'm always open to anybody's questions. Uh, at some point, too, I'm going to have to name that thing, especially when we get it built. So if you've got any ideas for uh, name suggestions, go ahead and hit me up. I'll take the best names. Put a poll out there in the world and uh, we'll let somebody name it. And then we'll give them a shout out. So as always, I'm Sean. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here and you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If not, that's okay too. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And as always, we'll see you somewhere else. Thanks for tuning in.